guys, so this is take two of the Cat at Senses Food Made Maze unboxing because I accidentally deleted it when we originally filmed the unboxing like what a month ago? Yeah. Um when we did the haul that this came out of, we did the unboxing straight after and when I took the files off the camera I must have deleted this with it by accident. So we're gonna pretend that this is like our first impression unboxing bit. <laughs> wow! Um, so it comes in quite a big box and there's a Max kind of cat playing with it and it's got lots of information on the box. The best thing about the box is this kind of thing. It kind of gives you an idea of what the other products look like together and they kind of interlock and it's like, um, you said Skeletrix or something? Skeletrix puzzle eating station. Yeah. So all the products in the Cat It Senses line, they all kind of like join together and everything that's round is like the same size. So it can all be interchangeable and some bits can go on other things and it's quite cool really that yeah. they thought about that. You can make like this kind of activity centre type thing. So we've been admiring this for quite some time. Yeah. Um, they normally retail around between 10 and 15 pounds. And um, usually when it goes on sale it's around about 10 pounds. And that is what we got it for. We got it for 9 99 from Zoo Plus and it came with some free Whiskers treats, which was kind of like sealing the deal. So for us. this is the box and it's quite a nice design. Yeah. I like it and we like the colours. And so this is where we would unbox it and put it together for you guys, but um, Here's one we made earlier! Yeah, here's one we made earlier. So <laughs> uh, when you get it the rubber part is separate and then I might be able to take this bit apart, there we go. The bottom is separate and then you have this green bit and this lid, oh, this lid on top is separate and I can't remember if it's just this level or these two levels weren't in. I think it was just this one. On the so top. it comes in quite a few pieces and it was actually really easy to put together for apart them. Apart from the rubber bit. Yeah, apart from this rubber bit. But we go on about that in the actual review bit. So far, far too much. Far yeah. too much. <laughs> um, but it was actually pretty easy to put together. All the plastic bits went together within maybe Second. 60 seconds in total. Yeah. It was so easy and it comes apart quite easy as well for washing. Okay. We've not even really had to take it apart that much. We just we take the lid off and you give it a good wipe down and it's easy enough. Like, yeah, baby wipes. Yeah. Save the day. So we normally fill this with their regular Porta 21 food and a couple of times a week chuck in some treats. So it's kind of like those penny pusher games, mm -hmm. you know, where there's loads of pennies and then every so often you get a prize. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think about when they're playing, at the, it's like one of those kind of games. It, it makes sense in my head. So this is the review part of the Cat It Senses food maze and overall the cats have really enjoyed it, haven't they? Yeah, they think it's great. Uh, they're always in it nearly every day. Uh, and we use it quite often, it'd be quite a good thing to all, uh, fill up if you're going out all day with food. Yeah, if you've got a job where you're away for long periods of time during the day, it's definitely a good boredom breaker for cats, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, they've had it for, what, maybe four or five weeks? Yeah. Something like that, so they've had quite a lot of time to play with Daisy yeah. and Cookie, they play with this a lot. Um, all through a day, day you just hear plunk, 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 plunk. Yeah. and it's either one of them or both of them playing with it. Um, Daisy, it's probably just because it's closer to her. She's lazy. Yeah, she's lazy. And Cookie, well, she's a kitten and everything's fun and if it involves being noisy, she seems to enjoy it. That was a good demo, Max. Um, oh, we nearly pushed it over. Or is that Daisy? Her, that was Daisy. I've never oh. seen her do that before. Daisy, you nearly knocked it over. It's plastic and that is an issue if you have cats that suffer with cat acne 
Unfortunately, Mr. Moo here, he does, so we have to keep an eye on him. So it's probably a good thing that he'd rather eat his normal food out of his bowl. Yeah. Because um, we actually haven't had a problem with it at all. Because he's maybe only using it like a couple of times a week. Yeah. Um, and even then, he's just sticking in his paw and pulling out nice bits. His face actually isn't coming into contact with it at all. <laughs> um, but if you do have cats that like this sort of thing, then you're going to have to keep an eye on them and limit their use of it, unfortunately. He's really trying to find that chicken, but... Yeah, there's a couple still in it and he can't quite figure out how to get them. He smushed it up against his side. <laughs> yeah. I can smell you. Uh, another thing that we noticed was the whole difficulty thing. Like, you know, when we put it together and this level, Daisy, don't sniff my hand, has like this bit that apparently makes it easier if it's open like that or harder if it's closed. Mm -hmm. It just seemed irrelevant, really, didn't it? Yeah. Um, you had a good suggestion, though, about what would actually be better. If you made the hole smaller, like a sliding bit on here, and you could make it harder for them to get out, push it down. Yeah. You've only got a little space to work with, it's harder to get the bits out then. Yeah, so it's like basically the same kind of idea and technology, but just on the outside of it. Another thing was when we were putting together, it took us ages for this plastic mat bit uh, to get to go on. It was a pain on the rubbery end. <laughs> yeah, um, it just, it was really fiddly. It's not that it was exactly hard, it's just that it was really fiddly and it took us a good 10 minutes between us, like one holding the treat maze and the other one trying to pull the plastic rubbery bit around it. What are the good points? Uh, the size is definitely for us anyway probably the best um, because we have more than one cat um, as you just saw more than one of them can play with it at a time so if you have more than one cat this is probably going to be a great thing for you yeah definitely they can all uh, go around it and uh, position themselves so they can all get a, a window to pull stuff down yeah, like, um, we have so good pictures of Cookie Max and Daisy playing with it at the same time, so they'll probably be on Facebook yeah, So like, go check, like, our something. page on Facebook. Yeah, they'll be on, like, Facebook or something probably tomorrow. So, for us in a multi-cat home, that is definitely one of the biggest plus points. Um, another big plus point, so here's Daisy, this is all about her. <laughs> because of the colourings on it, um, Daisy has problems with her sight. Um, she's not like blind or anything, but she doesn't see too well, I think is the best way to put it. I think so. She maybe needs like cat glasses, she's a bit short sighted or something. Because the yeah. actual levels on the inside are these nice light colours, and because the holes on the outside are so big, it makes it really easy for her to actually see what she's doing, so it's really easy for her to play with. Um, a lot of treat toys, they have like little tiny holes that she can't see through so she doesn't realise that there's actually anything nice in it. <laughs> or like they'll have bits of string or something for the cat to pull to open a drawer and she just doesn't quite realise it's there because she can't see it very well. But this is really easy for her and I think that's why she enjoys it so much because she can actually play with it with no problems. Yeah. Um, because she must use this a good four or five times a day. Yeah, it's really good because she's not really a playful cat. It's also a great thing to get them using their brains. Um, any treat toy is, really. But we thought, because this is so simple, you know, it, there's no like drawers or buttons or mazes or anything really extensive to think about. They just put in their paw and pull out a bit. It's a good starter one. Yeah, it's a good sort of starter one and it's not so complicated that they just get frustrated with it and then they can't be bothered with it. Yeah. Which we've noticed sometimes happens with stuff. If it takes too long to figure out then they just don't bother. So it's good as well because it's so simple that if you do want to get them into doing harder puzzles like the Nina Ottison, I know I'm probably not saying that right, but it's Ottison or Ottoman. Um, mm -hmm. 
those are quite hard. Like, they're really hard. <laughs> so if you wanted to get them into stuff like that, this is a good kind of easy, simple starter into really quite difficult puzzle things. So that's all the good points of why the cats like it, really. Um, from a human point of view, it's easy to put together except for the rubber mat thing. Yep. And it's so easy to fill because you just drop stuff in the top. There's no little, like, doors and things to twist and fiddly things to deal with, which is really good. Because <laughs> we don't like fiddling with silly no, things again. No, I just wait till it's empty and then I fill it up again. Like, At least bits have been lying too long, but then you pour them out. So it's really easy from a human perspective as well um, to put together and to wash and to fill up and just generally really good. So, Erin, out of five stars, what star rating would you give this? I would say four and a half. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably agree with you. Um, I think it's fantastic. There's so much good points about it. Um, this mat really does work well. This moves easy enough. It's easy to fill. Uh, it keeps their brain going all day. You can often leave them all day, fill us till the neck with treats and they're eating all day, you don't have to worry about them. I mean, it works for brain. Uh, downside, down points are the rubber, it's plastic, it's not hard and it was hard to put this on. Apart from that, excellent. Yeah, I think if the difficulty bit did actually work a bit better, it would totally be five stars. Yeah. But because it doesn't really do its job, that's why it's not quite five stars. So, do any of you guys have this? Because we would love to hear your opinion in the comments or you could message us on Facebook. Or put a picture of your cat using it on our Facebook page. Oh my god, yes, if you do have this, please share pictures of your cats playing with it on Facebook. Or a dog, or a dog. dog. A small dog could easily use this. Or rabbits or, or ferrets. Rabbits, I or... can just imagine them using it as well. Whatever animal uses it, we would love to see that. So feel free to go and pop those on our Facebook page and maybe enter our contest while you're there. Why not? <laughs> a little, little hint, hint there. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this, please hit the like button. Go over and like our Facebook page for regular updates and lovely pictures that Erin keeps taking because my pictures are awful and his are so much better. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Bye now.